And now, live from the studios of WHUC, this is Real Talk, where we get you something to talk about. Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Real Talk. I'm your host, Kai Beard. Today's guest is a dedicated leader and passionate advocate for education access and success, too. He is the direct, executive director of TRIO, Dr. Damian Thomas. Let's give him a warm round of applause. How you doing today? I'm doing well, Kai. How All are right. You? Are you excited? I'm, I'm excited for you to be here today. So I got some a few questions for you today, so I'm excited to ask you. Okay. So the first question is, for those who may not know you, can you give us more information about yourself and about your position here at Heinz? Okay, for those that don't know me, um, of course, I am Damian Thomas, graduate of Jackson State University. Okay. All right. Um, high school is Jim Hill High School. Mm -hmm. um, I am a 18 year educator. Um, I have been in higher ed for the last 15 years. Mm. So now I uh, discovered uh, TRIO programs and federal programs about five years ago. So what I do here on campus is lead 10 dynamic programs. Mm. We have Upper Bound, Upper Bound Math and Science, Talent Search, and Student Support Services. Okay, coming to that question okay. is, can you elaborate to what exactly is TRIO? Okay, TRIO is uh, not actually what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. It's not the number three. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a collaborative effort of programs that support pre-college mm -hmm. and collegiate students. So our Upper Bound and Talent Search deals with high school students mm -hmm. and Student Support Services deals with our college students, <laughs> such as yourself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, based on your experience in TRIO, what has been some main takeaways from students who has been in it and currently who's, who's involved in TRIO? Okay, uh, main takeaways, the opportunities to be from like a home away from home, mm -hmm. actually have the resources and the support system that they not necessarily would not get at home, mm -hmm. but a familiar place and territory. So we provide those resources for them. Uh, those, we've actually had a number of students to be successful, to go on, of course, to a four-year institution, mm -hmm. and also to thrive and kind of surpass higher ed and go into the political realm, uh, the corporate realm, the entertainment industry, and probably, um, not just social media, but actually to be a TV correspondent as well. So we're doing well. Right. I have seen some of the students over the summer. Mm -hmm. I had talked to some of the fellow students. They had said they this that experience over the summer break, mm -hmm. they really love it because not mm -hmm. only that we have it all over right. Mississippi, but actually coming to the Utica campus, mm -hmm. they said they felt the HBCU experience. But for my next question, my last wow. question for right now before we go to break is... What are your long-term goals for TRIO, and how do you see the program evolving the, in the upcoming years? Okay, long-term goals for TRIO. Long-term goals for TRIO here on the Utica campus mm -hmm. is to involve more of our college students. Mm. Definitely getting them from down <laughs> yeah. bottom, definitely. Get them from um, down bottom. Also to get them engaged with more than just tutorials, but making sure that they can actually have a connection with uh -huh. their own peers and the high school students that we do also interact with. And longevity evolving, I guess, for longevity would be to make sure that we can touch more than just the Utica campus, mm -hmm. that we can touch all of the five other remaining campuses that we oh, do have. That's great. That's so. great. We are having a great time here and giving more information from Dr. Thomas. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, more information about TRIO. Stay tuned. Real Talk will be right back after this. If you can't trust any other college news source, trust WHUC. They are the team you can trust with the latest Heinz news. From the State Fair, numerous antique vehicles, the annual homecoming specials, and more. While others chit chat, we bring you the latest to what's happening across and around the Hines County area. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for joining us on WHUC Trust Hines News 7. Very own WHUC News 7. When it comes to different topics around the Heinz community, Real Talk is the answer. The alumni who have graduated from the program. A lot of that is them getting to know me. This is the show that talks about lifestyle, culture, 
fashion, art, and having you in the know of what's going on across the Utica campus and the entire Community College of Heinz. Be sure to watch Real Talk exclusively on Heinz' very own WHUC. And now, Real Talk continues. Welcome back to Real Talk. I'm your host, Kai Beard. For those who are just now joining us, we have here Dr. Damian Thomas, Executive Director of TRIO. All right, so what are some strategies do you use to encourage students um, to take advantage of the resources that are available through TRIO? Okay, one strategy that I know I can definitely bank on is actually getting out on campus, mm -hmm. but also the team that I work with, we have to go into the schools. So we have targeted schools all throughout the counties, uh, Capaya, Claiborne, Vicksburg, Warren, Hines County. Um, and what we do, um, typically, like being a college student too, when I was a college student, you have to knock on the dorm doors. Mm -hmm. Definitely get the students engaged. Mm -hmm. And also, if students cannot actually feel your physical presence and be there and talking to you, Typically, they don't want to actually be involved. So you got to actually do something to get them engaged. So one thing is doing hands-on experiments mm. with them and getting them to work with our students as well. Uh, what, is some, what is one thing that you do hands-on experience through TRIO? The biggest thing, as I mentioned earlier before we went to the break, was our summer component. Mm. We have a lot of our college students who work as RAs, so residential assistants, also as peer tutors. And when the high school students see you all as college students working alongside and getting the development skills, the professional development, also just growing as a college student, they like to get involved with that as well. Okay, this is my favorite question. Okay. All right, what are some upcoming events that TRIO is hosting or a part of? Oh, upcoming events that TRIO is hosting. Um, Typically, every year, you know, at the U, we do See You at the U. So mm -hmm. See You at the U is November 8th, mm -hmm. um, but also, that's also our national, not TRIO's national initiative. There's a national initiative for first-generation students. Mm. So first-generation are those who have parents who have not received a four-year degree, and they're considered a first-gen. So this year, it's going to be called um, Preview Day, HBCU oh. Preview Day, but it's going to be in collection with collaboration, not collection, with Heinz Community College Raymond campus, as well as Utica campus. So we're gonna bring some students here. We should have about, normally we have about 400 to 500 students. I'm not sure the number for this year, but that's gonna be one of the engaging tools that we're definitely going to offer. And also to plug that will be um, a collaboration with Vice President Towns. Mm -hmm. He's having our, um, he wants us to host Dr. Gibson and I, Howard Gibson, who is the Executive Director of Title III, mm -hmm. Sponsor Grants. It will be the first gen celebration. That day, again, is November 8th, but November 7th would also be a collaboration with WIOA, mm -hmm. Student Support Services, and Phi Theta Kappa will be uh, a career industry fair on November 7th. I'm, I'm very excited so, for that. Yeah. Um, my last question is, what is some advice would you give to students who are considering enrolling in the TRIO programs or any other program that's on this campus? Don't be intimidated or scared to reach out. Mm -hmm. Ask questions um, to see if you're eligible for the program. And if you're not, still there are services that we can do to provide um, even that's not typically dealing with TRIO, but we can help you get to at least your secondary mm -hmm. education to get you implemented into the program and acclimated. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Well, Thomas. You're welcome. I would like to thank Dr. Thomas for taking his time out of his busy day and giving us information of everything TRIO. Remember to like us on Facebook at Radio and Television Production and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all our stories surrounding the Hines area. You're watching Real Talk. Until next time.